this tile we rolled out and we cut it to this pattern and I put it on that and this is it's got a pin right in the middle of it I'm going to center this and then I'm going to I'm going to pound it and what I'm trying to do is to a little bit stick that to this backing this has got a handle on it so I can literally drop that on here and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to hold this and by eye I'm going to make a slight bevel and this bevel is not super critical but I bevel that off and that bevel will sort of match in here and then I'm going to take and I'm going to scratch this around and this works better if I had dried this tile a little bit but this is this will be all right and these little forks are good for cleaning your teeth if you got stuff in them and then I take and I put a little water. I already watered that up. I put a little water in here and I run it around. Of course, a lot of the water is going to run off. But basically, I want to muddy that up. And the idea is to have the joint muddy but not wet. And this one the same way. I'm going to set this down here and I'm just going to, I'm going to check that joint. So this is a little bit dry, so I'm going to add just a little bit more water to it. And in a minute you'll see why. So I'm working that water down into that joint. This works good on the banding wheel because you see I can gauge the speed that it's rotating with the speed that I can scratch that up. Okay, so I got all that just so. And I won't be able to get in here again, so I want to be sure that's as big as I want. And I'm sort of going on the tunnel, which you haven't seen yet. But. So, since I pounded on this, I can turn this upside down and that allows me to position this and so I get my eyeball over the top and then I come around here and I just gently pound that and the idea is to get that piece of masonite down flush and so I'm, I'm squeezing the muds together now if the sink is too soft and you do this you'll collapse the sink well, you see now it's more stuck to the sink than it stuck to this, so it comes right off. And if you do it right, you don't get a lot of muddy stuff laying all over the place. I'm going to use to call a haga, and I'm going to use the haga to flatten it down. So that's making this flush, you see, all the way around. I have to do this with a little sensitivity, or it'll collapse the bowl. But you see, that makes it a little more flat because you want this to sit sit flat. And this is a little finer sponge here. And I'm going to wet that sponge so it's lubricated and then I'm going to put my thumb and my thumbnail gets to be a really important tool. 
and I get out of sorts if I break my thumbnail. So you see what I'm doing is making a line, but that line is forcing that joint to consolidate. So the line is forcing clay into that scratched up joint. So I do that a couple of times. And that sort of finishes it. We're going to add the tunnel here. And I can I can run my finger in here and I can I can open that out a little bit, but I'll wait until I get my tunnel on there. Well, this piece had a center hole. That's important because that tells me where to put the drain. And I'm going to actually cut through this tile and the inside of the sink at the same time. This allows me to center the cutter. This is the plunger in a caulking tube. And so then I can put that into that mark. And as long as I keep this straight, I can go straight through. And I just rotate it. Works good if your hands are dry. And so now it's gone through. I can feel by the different feel and now it can come straight up. I know from past experience this will result It'll result in a hole that fires to inch and a half, which is standard opening for an inch and a quarter fixture. So in here I've got a little, what I call crunches. And so I'll take this and I'll pull out some of the crunches. It's basically part of the whole cutting process. It's got knocked inside. Now this hole This hole is open to there, you see, and that ring on there provides support here because when you put the drain in, you tighten it up with a nut, and without that ring to support it, you would break this tile right there. And so that's more or less okay, and I whip my little pinky and I, I rotate it, and I just sort of smooth that off on the inside. And then I do the same thing here. Now this tile is a little soft, so I have to do this a little more careful. If the tile had been dried, it would be a little easier. And so that's more or less finished from the back side. This needs to be dried some because this is really wet. The clay is stiff, but it's wet on the top. And I want to be sure that both of these surfaces of the hole are in the same plane, so I'll just run that by there. And that all looks pretty good, but I have to dry this off right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be careful about this piece because this hole, since the circumference is smaller, I can get dry and crack. So I'm going to put that there to protect that from happening.